Have we ever stayed in a tiny house before? We've stayed in a tiny boat. This is enormous. It is, isn't it? It's deceptive. This is the Redwood Forest. Well, I've never seen a Redwood Forest. Oh my God. Wow. This is scary, actually. It's yep. like a cathedral. Today we embark on a journey to the charming town of Warburton where adventure and tranquility await in one of Victoria's best kept secrets. I feel like I've been here before Familiar with the view This ain't nothing new Founded in the mid-19th century during the Gold Rush era, Warburton boasts a rich history intertwined with the stories of pioneers and prospectors who once roamed these hills. After a scenic drive, we arrive at our off-grid tiny home, a sanctuary amidst nature's embrace. Here, sustainable living meets comfort offering a unique retreat from the bustling city life. It's cute. <laughs> this is enormous. It is, isn't it? It's deceptive. It's water. You've got all your oils and sauces and Vegemite. You've got everything you need. There you go. That's bigger than what I was expecting. Full-size shower and your toilet, which must be, yeah, it's a composting toilet. It's some straw. It's a straw, yeah. A fancy looking coffee machine. Got milk. Yeah, we've got milk and water, and we've got pasta. And, uh, good enough there. Yeah. It's a long way up there. Yeah. Don't grow wet. I think I'm gonna have to get bathroom is, really. It's very generous, isn't it? Same size as the bedroom. Well, yeah, you're right. It's right underneath. And on the wall, you've got a coo. Oh, a cow. The addition of a bosun's basket makes it a breeze to get your luggage down from the top car park, setting us up for a relaxing night in our mountain hideaway. That's it. Well, that was fun. Super fun. Have we ever stayed in a tiny house before? We've stayed in a tiny boat. <laughs> tiny boat, does that count? <laughs> After a morning visit from our neighbours at dawn, we ventured towards the mystical Redwood Forest at Cement Creek. You won't find any signs here giving directions. You just have to know where to go. The Redwood Forest. Well, I've never seen a Redwood Forest. Where it traditionally grow? In California. In California. So the Californian Redwood, right? These are sequoia. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> this is scary, actually. It's yeah. like a cathedral. Oh my God. These ancient giants, the Californian redwoods, have stood tall for millennia, bearing witness to the passage of time and preserving the stories of generations past. <laughs> There's nothing else growing here. Absolutely nothing. No. Just Other than trees. trees. Originally planted in the 1930s as an experimental logging plantation, the Redwood Forest now stands as a testament to conservation efforts and the resilience of nature. But they're very tactile trees. Film, they're very. 
think it's fine. It's 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 fibrous. Hmm. Here amidst the magic and mystery of the redwood forest, we're reminded of the profound connection that binds us to the natural world and the infinite wonders that await those who dare to explore. Well, that was worth coming for. I didn't even know that such a forest existed until not long ago. It's pretty impressive. Very. We're so lucky to have it to ourselves today. <laughs> That's what you get when you stay overnight. Yeah. Established in the mid-19th century during the Gold Rush era, Warburton's roots run deep, intertwined with the stories of pioneers and prospectors who'd ventured into these rugged mountains in search of fortune. We just walked up the Great Steps of Warburton. The Great Steps of Warburton. The town was named after the middle name of the police magistrate for Castle Maine, Charles Warburton Carr, by District Surveyor Clement Hodgkinson in the 1860s haven for wildlife and a playground for outdoor enthusiasts, the Yarra River epitomises the symbiotic relationship between nature and community. Do you like Warburton? I love it. It's beautiful. I've never been here before. You've been here before. I have and I remember it being beautiful. And yeah, I remember the river more than anything as a child. Obviously a really lovely place to come when the weather's warm and have a swim. It's only, what, an hour and a half from the city? Yeah. Easy drive. We only stayed overnight because we wanted to get up early to catch the Redwood Forest with nobody in it. Yeah, had it all to ourselves. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.